49 minutes since my potatoes arrived, they've been washed and peeled. Now they turn towards the dicer. These buds are flowery, which as Cherry discovered means they'll make great mash. So to make the perfect mashed potato, we need to chop the potatoes up into cubes of all the same size, so about half an inch. They've all got to be the same size because they've all got to cook at the same time. Exactly. It's like making mash at home. Exactly. So this is our dicer. So this is a machine that's not in use at the moment. The potato is coming down here, goes into this rotating drum, which is spinning at speed. And on this side here is a blade that will basically chop it into fritters. So slice it as it's spinning round. It then goes into these blades here, but that fritter would then get cut into chips. And then it hits those blades at the top there, where the chips would be cut horizontally, and that'll give me my half-inch cube pieces. The raw taters enter the drum, which spins them 1,200 times per minute. They're pushed against the first blade, which slices them. These slices meet a set of rotating blades, which divide them into battens. And spinning circular blades give us our cubes. Our spud cubes are dropped onto a vibrating belt. Oh, I like that. Oh, I do like that. Why is it vibrating? What we want to do is accelerate our cubes of potato onto this belt, so we separate them out. It goes fast to separate them? Yes, yes. Once there's some space between the cubes, six cameras take millimetre-accurate pictures of every individual one to check for defects like black spots or bits of peel. <laughs> Inside this machine, the cold cubes are warmed in water at 85 degrees C. How long are they in there for? We're in there for about two minutes. Well, why do you blanch them at all if it's only two minutes? Well, we just want to get the potato warm enough to get ready to be steam cooked. What would happen if you didn't? They'd just turn to mush. It's full steam ahead as the blanched spuds go straight into the cooker. Inside, the warm cubes are heated by a 190 degree steam. The chunks are so small, they only take three minutes to cook. Cooks potato. And there we have our cooked potato. Bit bland. It's a bit bland. We've not added our secret spices yet. 